hello and welcome back to this channel once again now in today's lesson we are going to learn how to solve a system of linear equations using the successive over relaxation method or what we call the sor method now this sor method is just like the gossado iteration method which we studied in the previous lesson only that this time we are going to attach a weight or a relaxation factor to it so the only difference is that this time we are going to attach a relaxation factor or a weight to it so that is omega and this omega typically lies in the range zero is less than omega is less than two now the most interesting part of it is that when the relaxation factor omega is equal to one then we have what we call the gauss seidel iteration method the gauss seidel iteration method and then when omega lies in the range zero is less than omega is less than one then we have successive under relaxation however when omega lies in the range or the relaxation factor lies in the range one is less than omega is less than two then we have successive over relaxation so now we have a question here we are going to solve the system of linear equations using sor or the successive over relaxation method with initial guess x of zero equals zero 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 and a weight or a relaxation factor of 1.1 and we are asked to perform only two iterations we are going to perform only two iterations so let's try to solve this thing together so first of all what we are going to do is we are going to make x1 x2 x3 the subject from equations 1 2 and 3 respectively as if we are solving using gossado iteration method so for x1 we are going to have 58 minus 2x2 minus 3x3 all divided by a coefficient of x1 which is 45 we move on to x2 that is also equal to we have 47 now this is negative so it becomes plus 3x1 and then minus 2x3 all divided by coefficient of x2 which is 22 now we move on to x3 and that is also equal to we have 67 minus 5x1 minus x2 all divided by 20 so on the left hand side we are going to have xi of k so x1 of k x2 of k x3 of k now for x1 of k we have 58 minus 2 x2 of k minus 1 and then minus 3 x3 of k minus 1 now at this point we've been able to find x1 of k so we are going to update x2 of k with the most recent value of x1 so instead of x1 of k minus 1 we have x1 of k that is the most recent value of x1 so this becomes plus 3 x1 of k and then minus 2 x3 of k minus 1 that remains unchanged and then this time also we've been able to find x2 of k so we update x3 of k with the most recent value of x1 and then x2 so here we have negative 5 x1 of k and then minus x2 of k so that is the gossado iteration method now next we are going to attach the relaxation factor or the weight so for x1 of k we multiply this fraction by omega and then plus 1 minus omega times x1 of k minus 1 now similarly for x2 of k we multiply this fraction by 
omega plus 1 minus omega times x2 of k minus 1 and then lastly we multiply this by omega and then plus 1 minus omega times x3 of k minus 1 so basically this is what we are going to use for the iteration steps so remember that we have the initial guess we have the initial guess x of 0 equals x1 of 0 x2 of 0 x3 of 0 equals 0 0 0 so we can begin with the first iteration step so for the first iteration that is where we have k equals 1 so to find x1 of 1 from this that is equal to we have 1.1 because the weight is giving us 1.1 in the question so we have 1.1 times 58 minus 2 times 0 minus 3 times 0 or divided by 45 and then plus 1 minus 1.1 times x1 of k minus 1 that is x1 of 0 so times 0 now when you compute this then we are going to get 1.41778 1.41778 so let's move on to x2 of 1 that is also equal to 1.1 times we have 47 plus 3 now this time we are going to update x2 with the most recent value of x1 so that is 1.41778 so it becomes 1.41778 let me write it well 1.41778 and then minus 2x3 of 0 divided by 22 plus 1 minus 1.1 times 0 so this also gives 2.56267 now we move on to x3 of 1 so that is also equal to we have 1.1 that is the weight multiplying 67 minus 5 times most recent value of x1 that is 1.41778 minus the most recent value of x2 that is what we've already found 2.56 Two six seven. So all divided by twenty, and then plus one point. Sorry, plus one minus one point one. Also times zero, and then this becomes three point one five four one six. So. At the end of the first iteration step okay at the end of the first iteration step let me put that here we are going to have x of 1 equals x1 of 1 
x2 of 1 x3 of 1 and that is equal to that is equal to we have 1.41778 we have 2.56267 and then lastly we have 3.15416 so let's move on to the second iteration step. So we have second iteration step where k is equal to 2. So first we have x1 of 2. x1 of 2 that is also equal to we are going to have 1.1 1 .1 all times. So from here we have 58 minus 2 times so this is x2 okay so x2 of 1 and then x2 of 1 is 2.56267 and then minus 3 times x3 of 1 that is also 3.15416 so we have this all divided by 45 plus 1 minus 1.1 1 .1 times notice that this value is x1 of k minus 1 okay x1 of k minus 1 which is the previous x1 value so since k is equal to 2 for the second iteration step then it means you have x1 of 1 okay so x1 of 1 so it means you are going to input this value so that becomes times 1.41778 so when you compute this then you are going to have 0 0.91 9409 0 0.919409 so let's move on to x2 of 2 this is also equal to we have 1.1 1 .1 multiplying 47 plus 3 times so this value becomes the x1 value okay now the most recent x1 value becomes what we've already found here so that is 0 0.919409 okay minus 2 times the most recent value of x3 okay so the most recent value of x3 becomes this one the previous one so 3.15 four one six so all divided by twenty two and then plus one minus one point one times this becomes x two of k minus one so that is x two of one this is x two of one two point five six two six seven that should be equal to 1 1.91623 1.91623 so this is x2 of 2 now let's move on to x3 of 2 so we have x3 of 2 and that is also equal to we have 1.1 so 1.1 1 .1 times 67 minus 5 times most recent value of x1 minus most recent value of x2 all divided by 20 okay so we have 67 minus 5 times most recent value of x1 that is 0 0.9194 zero nine okay 
minus most recent value of x2 that is 1.91623 so 1.91623 or divided by 20 or divided by 20 and then plus 1 minus 1.1 1 .1 times x3 of 1 so plus 1 minus 1.1 1 .1 times x3 of 1 that is 3.15416 when you compute this you are going to get 3.011 so at the end of the second iteration step we have x of 2 to be equal to x1 of 2 x2 of 2 x3 of 2 and that is equal to we have 0 0.919409 1.91623 and then lastly 3.011135 so basically this is how to solve a system of linear equations using what we call the SOR method so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye